time values of x that are increasing or decreasing for a cubic. Um, I've got my title page up there just to remind us the basic shape of a cubic. I, I knew it. Hold on. All right, sorry about the interruption. Um, basic shape of a cubic, and let's let's start with our with our question here. So we're going to say, um, when is when is x increasing? For what values of x is this function here, uh, 9x minus 3x squared minus x cubed? When is it increasing? Okay, and just just a reminder of what increasing means. It means it has a positive gradient. So what I mean. Uh, positive gradient means that the gradient function y dash or y prime is going to be greater than zero. That's, that's the way we write a positive gradient. All right. Um, so before I do any sketches of cubics or anything like that, um, let's just start differentiating this. Let's start doing, doing the calculus. And I'll just differentiate each term. Hopefully we know how to do that by now. This one differentiates to 9. This one is to minus 6x, and this one is to 3x minus 3x squared. And uh, this should be, if it's increasing, this should be uh, greater than 0. <laughs> okay, so here I set it, set it to greater than 0. Now, like how I, how I taught this part is we've got a quadratic inequation here, which I've done other videos on and other lessons on. And it's hard. And so how I teach this is I teach this, uh, explain it, is to just solve for x. Solve, solve for x um, as if it was a quadratic equation equal to 0. Solve for x as if it was 9 minus 6x minus 3x squared equals 0. Okay? And if I do solve for x for a quadratic, um, I look at the coefficients of uh, a, b, and c. And since this, this one's kind of tricky, I guess, because it's written backwards, the x squared's over there. So you're either going to use a quadratic formula or, or the graphics calculator on this one. I used this one because I was short on time and didn't use the quadratic formula. So a would be negative 3, uh, b would be negative 6, and our constant term, c, is 9. Okay. So whatever you use, those are the <coughs> values that you're going to plug in. Okay? And so I solve for x, and I get um, x is going to equal uh, 1 or negative 3. Okay? Now that's, that's pretty important, because what does that tell me? All right? Those tell me the uh, roots of this equation right here. What are the roots? The roots are where it crosses the x-axis. Now, here's x. And this axis is not going to be y, but it's going to be y dash. Okay? It's going to tell me what the gradient is doing. And this equation is going to tell me that it's going to hit the x-axis at 1 and negative 3. So I'll just say negative 3 is right there, and 1 is right there, and it's, this has to be a parabola, and so the graph of my gradient is going to be, oh, let's see if I can draw this, something like that. Something like that, where this is negative 3, and that's 1. So why have I highlighted this bit? Because back in my, my good looking notes here, I'm saying it's, it's increasing when the gradient is greater than zero. It's increasing when the gradient is positive. Well, on my graph, here is where the gradient is positive. Everything between negative 3 and 1 is going to be the positive gradient. So I go, OK, everything be, it, can't, it can't equal negative 3, and it can't equal 1, because that's when it's zero. So I've got to watch out when I write my final answer here. Um, it's increasing, increasing, whoops, increasing um, when x is between negative 3 and 1, between negative 3 and 1, but can't equal those. So we've got to watch out which in equation sign we use. Okay, <laughs> and that's my answer. So, you know, I can highlight that. And I went, okay, well, 
I don't even, you know, what did this graph look like? And so what I did is I, just on the graphics calculator, not that this is part of the problem, is I graph, not y dash, but this actual function. What does this look like on the graph? Um, and I just uh, plugged it in. And it looks something, okay, this is going to be not the best, but it looks something like that. Okay, and of course, this dipped down to, I think, something like negative 20, but that doesn't matter. Um, the graph is, this cubic here is increasing here. That's where it's increasing. And of course, what are these values? Well, what do you think that value is going to be? That value is going to be negative 3. Okay, and what do you think that value is going to be? That value is going to be positive 1. All right, and so that's the relationship. I know I, I used a parabola to solve it, which shows the gradient. And this is the actual function where that is where the graph is increasing because that's the part that has a positive gradient in it. All right? So now we'll try, we'll try it on our, on our own. Okay, thank you. There we go.